Hello everyone, and welcome back to Master Detective Archives Rain Code. I'm Sophie Bobie, and let's get straight into this episode. Last we left off, we were about to enter the Mystery Labyrinth, so let's see it for the very first time, I must add. Let's see this labyrinth. I'm excited. Now we just gotta wait for it to load. Here we go. Oh? Huh? Yuma, you okay? <laughs> oh, where am I? I'd like to know that too, bro. Hey, Shinigami! This is what you obtained in exchange for your memories, Master. <laughs> you did this, Shinigami? Is this why I made a pact with you? I don't understand any of this. Where are we? The Mystery Labyrinth. Hmm. Simply put, it's an alternate universe. It's got that kind of vibe, right? <laughs> an alternate universe? You don't sound surprised. Come on, it's awesome! <laughs> You probably think it's cliched, huh? Well, this isn't any old alternate universe. Oh? Check this out. Yes? Ta-da! This is the Mystery Labyrinth. It's a maze that materializes mysteries from the real world. Woo! Materializes mysteries? Unsolved mysteries become lost to time, right? Well, here, they actually take shape as a mystery labyrinth. Oh. Now, this maze is the materialized form of the unsolved murders that took place on the Amaterasu Express. Awesome! This maze is the mystery? I have the power to interact with this mystery labyrinth. Okay. That's why we were able to come here in the first place. Anyway, Master, we're gonna beat the Amaterasu Express Massacre Mystery Labyrinth. Let's do it! What happens when we beat it? In every case, there's a hidden truth. And we have to find the truth deep inside this mystery labyrinth. Okay. So, if we beat this mystery labyrinth, the truth of that case will be revealed. Hell yeah. Naturally, so will the true identity of the killer. Now, let's solve this thing. Okay. We'll discover the killer's identity too? I'm down. You couldn't solve it in reality, so we're solving it in this alternate universe. They're two sides of the same coin. Cool. But whether or not you discover the truth depends on the person entering the labyrinth. Hmm? The more complex the mystery is in the real world, the more complex the maze will be too. Oh boy. Killers in real world cases throw whatever obstacles they can at investigators, right? Those are also materialized into the maze, so this is gonna be a tough battle. Oh boy. So you're saying there are traps in there? Yep. Looks like you're finally getting it. <laughs> now that I've explained it all, let's head into the dungeon. Woo! Let's do it. Oh, hold on. I, I don't understand any of this. Seriously? You don't get it? Uh, a mystery labyrinth is a maze based on a real mystery. This one is formed from a murder on the Amaterasu Express. Yeah. Yep, you're right so far. So, if there's always a hidden truth inside a mystery labyrinth, if... We keep going. The Amaterasu Express case will be solved? Exactly. Yep, you totally get it. What? I don't get anything. This makes no logical sense. <laughs> Sheesh. This is why you're a bench warmer detective. You're in an alternate universe and hung up on details. I don't care about the details, bro. Let's just go solve this thing. Of course I am. <laughs> explain more about how it works as we explore the mystery labyrinth. Deal. If you have any more questions along the way, stare at my boobs for eight seconds. <laughs> what? That'll make all your worries disappear. <laughs> no, it won't. Please, explain everything now. Oh. Relax, relax. I'll tell you in due time. Come on, let's go. Time to unriddle this mystery labyrinth. Woo! I am excited. Uh, sorry, I forgot to mention the important keys. Keys? Let's see. Keys? 
You mean for opening doors in the dungeon? Yeah, something like that, but keys in the mystery labyrinth are used to break through mysteries. Okay. They're called solution keys. Solution keys. And they're keys. essential to clear the mystery labyrinth. So, where do I find them? Solution keys are materialized clues for a case. Normally, you'd get them during the investigation. Hmm. You kinda had to rush through the investigation this time around, so let's briefly review the case. Okay. For starters, try to recall all that happened on board the Amaterasu Express. Yeah. The Amaterasu Express? Uh... Met a bunch of detectives, all of them died. The Amaterasu Express is the only method of transportation in Kanai Warp. Yep. It's an automated, unmanned train with five cars. Its doors won't open while in motion, and windows are fixed in place. There were no stops before our destination, so the train kept moving until it arrived at the station. Mm -hmm. A monitor in the backup control room displays the operation log, and there was no record of the train stopping. Yeah. Is she barfing sunlight? <laughs> Here's your solution key! Whoa! New key. Oh, the map? Okay. Root map. Got it. Operation log. According to the log, the train did not stop once after departure. So this is a solution key. But why did it come out of your mouth? <laughs> I'm wondering that too. Mm, what do you mean? So I don't have to use my hands. I worked really hard developing this method. <laughs> you put thought into this? Oh my god. So that's how words and events you think are clues get transformed into solution keys. Let's keep reviewing what happened in this case. Okay. Alright. I'll do my best. Uh, the incident occurred inside the Amaterasu Express while it was still moving. Yep. Including myself, there were six master detectives on board. Mm -hmm. Aphex and Poochie's abilities confirmed there were no other passengers on the train. Aphex and Poochie for Poochie's fortes proved there were no other passengers besides the six people inside the train car. Yes, yes. And who died first again? Uh, Zilch. It was Zilch, and the first car's infirmary. I noticed smoke pouring through the crack of the door, and looking through the window, I saw a knife stuck in Zilch's chest. Yeah. Mm, the knife stuck in Zilch's chest, yes. The infirmary was on fire, so smoke quickly filled the whole area. Yeah. I hurried to open the door, but it wouldn't budge because it was locked. So you used... That mean this was a locked room mystery? So you use a fire extinguisher? Not really. There's a chance the killer had a duplicate key. Hmm. Aww, that's no fun. Anyway, I broke the door's window and unlocked the door from the inside to enter the infirmary. Yep. By then, Zilch's corpse had burnt to a crisp. Also, yes. Sad. Zilch's cor corpse discovered in car one who was burnt to a crisp. I wanted to alert the others, so I moved to the second car. And that's where you found Melamine. But I found Melamine's corpse there. I think she was set on fire with the liquor in the dining car. Yep. Ooh, a flambe! A human <laughs> Lordy. Melamine's corpse discovered in car two. It was burned to a crisp, but the face is still barely recognizable. That reminds me. Something was off about car two, right before the train entered the tunnel. There was a strange shaking. Hmm. Isn't that from entering the tunnel? It's like air pressure. Oh, uh, wind stuff. And there was a blackout right after. Although it only lasted a moment. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What was up with that blackout? Was there one on the other side of the tunnel, too? Hmm. No. When we exited the tunnel, there was shaking again, but no blackout. There was something else, too. Something that happened when we were in the fourth car. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I wonder if that's a clue. Huh. There was a blackout and a shaking when the train car entered the tunnel. There was another shaking when the train car exited the, when the train exited the tunnel. And the next corpse was the little girl in the third car? Yes. Yeah, it was Poochie. Another burnt body. Just like the first two cars. Fuji's corpse discovered in car 3 it was burned to a crisp, but the face is just barely recognizable. Oh yeah, wasn't there a secret face thing 
in the third cart? Secret base. You mean the backup control system? I remember something about that. Yeah. The control system automatically manages the electricity within the train. Mm -hmm. When the main control system fails, it will switch to the backup system after one second. Wasn't the backup system what we were on? You may have amnesia, but you've got a pretty good memory. Anything else you can remember? I did notice that the backup control system was actually operating. Which means the main control system had fallen apart? And if the backup was on, that means the main system was down, right? Exactly. What do you think about that? Backup control system status was operating. Did the main control system fail? Well, the train never stopped, so it doesn't change the fact that no one could get in or out, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Next, you found the geezer's corpse in the fort car, right? He was also covered in ferns. Yep. Was there anything strange about that corpse? No. He didn't have any external wounds, but he was holding the cell phone he uses for his photography ability. Hmm. Oh yeah, that useless ability. It's basically no better than a dash cam. <laughs> anyway, forget about the geezer for now. I don't want that old man smell haunting my memories. Okay, Zangi's corpse discovered in car four. The entire body had been, has been burnt to a crisp. Zangi's forte created this recorded image. It was saved in the cell phone found on his corpse. Next and last is the fifth car. Come on, try to remember it. Hey, Pat. The body we found in the fifth car was completely charred. It was impossible to tell who it was. Yeah. But the necklace around the corpse's neck confirmed it was Aphex. Mm -hmm. We also discovered a stab wound to the chest. Burnt corpse thought to belong to Aphex had what appeared to be a stab wound to its, in its chest. Also, judging by things like the plate on the wall, the fifth car appeared to be far more burnt than the other cars. Yeah. Maybe the room ended up like that because the victim was on fire and running around trying to put it out. <laughs> Okay, the plate identifying car 5 was burned and destroyed in an unusual manner. Oh, and the blood on the interior lock of the 5th car's infirmary is an important clue, I think. Yeah. The infirmary in car 5 was locked from the inside. There was a small amount of blood spattered on the interior lock. Uh-huh. So, I guess that does it for our review of the case? I think so. Wait, there was something else. After the train arrived at the station, according to the peacekeepers' reports, they all burned to death. Hmm. But that part seems off to me. I agree. The victims all burned to death, according to peacekeepers' report. And they also mentioned there was a knockout drug mixed into the drinks in the dining car. Yeah, they did. There was a knockout drug mixed into the drinks in the dining car. Yeah, I think that's everything of note. Got it. Wow. Yeah! <laughs> what a big catch! This should be enough solution keys to solve it. Okay. But I still don't know how to use them. Me neither. Master, you worry too much. I'm sure it'll turn out fine. <laughs> solution okay. keys are important to solving mysteries. A solution? Yours truly is important too. A solution key is a manifestation of clues related to a case. You can acquire or update one by investigating the case and moving the story along. Sure, okay. hope you got all that down! Acquired solution keys can be viewed in the notebook menu. Try checking one out if a mass mystery labyrinth becomes too difficult to solve. There's bound to be some useful information. Got it. Shinigami's tutorial recorder! Okay, labyrinth skills are abilities that can help you clear mass mystery labyrinths. Acquire them by spending skill points, which you will get when your detective rank increases. Ooh! Okay. Got it. Hey, Master! Do you need a power-up? Labyrinth skills can be checked and acquired in the abilities section of the notebook menu. Set whichever skills suit you best. You can activate labyrinth skills by setting them, but it requires memory cost. So pay attention to how much you have left. Got it. Time to head off in search of the truth. Let's solve this thing. Woo. Okay. Where are our... Oh, we can't... I thought it said we could... Hmm. Huh. I thought it said we could change our rank. I mean, change our skills. Will things really turn out fine? Oh, boy. Okay. Ooh, very pretty.
So, this is the mystery labyrinth. It sure looks creepy. Hold on one more time. Solution keys? You definitely want to remember this. Okay, in solution keys, you can review the info of acquired solution keys. That's it. Got it. All our clues. Case files. Abilities, here we go. Come on, pay attention! In abilities, you can check the master's status, as well as acquire and set labyrinth you skills. You better not be skimming over this. In status, you can check master detective's rank, detective points, and the effect of skills when they're set. Hey, master! Do you need a power-up? <laughs> In skills, labyrinth skills can be acquired by picking a skill mass you want and spending SP. Set whichever skills suit you best. You can activate labyrinth skills by setting them, but it requires memory cost. So pay attention to how much you have left. Got it. Check status. Got it. Skills. Okay. I guess. Let's do it. Nice. Yes, equip. Okay, increases stamina by 100. Nice. Um, alright. Is that everything for now? Hmm. I guess that's it. Okay. Hey, if we keep going, will we really get to the truth? Hold on, I thought of one more thing, and that is uh, lower the volume. Volume, thank you. Okay, we're good. We're good to go. Let's go. Come on, would I lie to you? <laughs> I told you the deepest part of the labyrinth holds the truth, right? So let's go. Okay. Some money for mysteries right now. You're what? <laughs> Better write this down. There are places in the mystery labyrinth where the path just goes on and on. You can't move on until the scene plays out. So keep following the path until it does. Got it. Okay. Let's go. What in the world? Whoa. Oh my god. Huh? Okay. Hey, did something move just now? Oh, that's a cue. A cue? Ooh, is that a monster living in the mystery labyrinth? They're not exactly monsters. Q are part of the mystery labyrinth itself. They're what materialize the mysteries. Okay. Q have no intelligence or autonomy. All they do is manifest the mysteries in the labyrinth. Got it. But since you are here to defeat mysteries, they're kind of like obstacles. Okay, I see. So in other words, they're the enemy. Of course, as a detective seeking the truth, mysteries are your greatest enemy. <laughs> Fair. Fair enough. Alright, what's this? Can we do anything here? No, I guess not. Ooh! Hmm? That. Oh my god. Oh lordy. Is that, is that the guy from before, but different? He looks a lot like the, the officer that we ran into. Okay. What the? There are monsters here! That's a mystery phantom. Okay. A mystery phantom? Well, what's that? I told you that cues make mysteries materialize, right? Uh-huh. Well, if there's someone in the real world trying to interfere with the case, that person also materializes. Ah. That's a mystery phantom. I see. It is that guy. Interfering with the case? I see. Hey, doesn't he kind of look like Swank of the Peacekeepers? Exactly. If the Peacekeepers are tied up in this, then maybe this incident has something to do with Amaterasu Corporation. Ooh. You. You're the culprit. Huh? Let's do this. What do we do? <laughs> oh my god, he's huge. Okay. Since all the other passengers on the train are dead, you're the who could have done the crime. So you're the culprit. 
That's the truth behind this case! Master, he's trying to frame you to bury the case. If you can't get past this, you can't reach the truth. Okay. What do I do? Should I just run away? No! A detective doesn't run from a mystery! You gotta defeat him! Okay! Defeat him? How? That's what I want to know too, bud. Master, are you ready to give your life for the truth? Huh? <laughs> just say, I am. I, I am! Okay. <laughs> Those are cute shoes. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay then. What? A sword? I call it the Solution Blade. It's a sword with special powers to affect things inside the Mystery Labyrinth. Okay. Back to boom kill the Mystery Phantom. Let's do this. All right. Whoa, slow down. Uh, how do I use this? I'm sure you'll figure it out eventually. Anyway, the damage you take here is nothing to sniff at. Ooh. It's not like an injury in the real world, but still, the more and more your mind realizes you've been hurt here, oh boy, Ooh. you'll wind up brain dead. It'll be game over, time to start from the beginning again. Okay. No one wants that, so you better be super careful. Deal. Come on, pay attention. Traps and obstacles lie in wait inside the mystery labyrinth. Make a mistake while facing them, and master stamina will decrease. Dead, it's master? game over. <laughs> <laughs> it's game over when the stamina runs out. So be careful as you uncover the truth. Okay, deal. Let's do this. I have no clue what to do here. I feel like I'm totally lost. <laughs> okay, loading, loading. Reasoning death match. Deal. I'll tell you a mystery labyrinth secret. During the reasoning death match, a mystery phantom will attack Master while making statements about the case. Dodge, 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 Getting dodge. hit by a statement means taking damage, so move on, up, down, left, and right to avoid it. Track it carefully and dodge. Ah, if you dodge a statement at the very last second, it becomes a daring dodge. The more daring dodges you make, the bigger the bonus you'll get later. So give it a shot if you got the guts. The bonus for successful daring dodges is based on the max amount you can dodge in one cycle. Basically, there's a cap on how much you can get. Don't let any shady statements slip by. Inflammable statements give you the chance to counterattack. Statements might contain a contradiction. Slash through it with the solution blade and fight back against the phantom. How do we slash? X? Master doesn't make mistakes, right? It, to right. expose a contradiction, right. you gotta pick the correct, the right solution key. The key is already set in the solution blade this time. So find the contradictory inflammable statement and slash it. Slash those suspicious statements! To slash a statement, if you slash a statement containing a contradiction with the right solution key, you'll destroy it and damage the mystery phantom. Oh. Picking the wrong solution key or missing the timing means taking damage. Just some friendly advice from yours truly. Got it. Okay. Let's go. No need to try this out! You're the culprit behind this case! You murdered five bastard detectives! That's the nice. only explanation! Everyone oh. else is dead! You're the only one who could have done the crime! Let's go! Let's do this mystery! Okay. Here we go. No, there's no way I could have done it. I wasn't conscious the whole time because I drank the drugged coffee in the dining car. It's no yeah. use. Your deduction is wrong. Master, it's time for the solution key. Okay. Solution key window rebuttal switch switch solution key. 
Looks like there are more solution keys to choose from. The number of keys will change between our DMs. Use the correct key and slash for the contradiction of the, in the inflammable statement. You better not be skimming over this. <sighs> okay. I already mentioned this, but attacking the wrong solution key means taking damage, so be careful. You were out the whole time. Okay. Rip Okay, I see. So it's just these two? Testimonies of two detectives. Apex and Fuji's Forte's Poover with no other passengers. Photography image. Okay, there we go. Ridiculous. You're the culprit! You okay. knew it was drunk! I see what we have to do here. That's how you avoided being knocked out! Okay. Other detectives were drugged. How do Kill I avoid that? Okay. You're it took the laced coffee. Do I just slash any? And of these? pretended to drink it. Okay, here we go. This is the truth. Okay, is this right? You saw his photography footage showed me drinking the coffee. Exactly. That proves I wasn't faking anything. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Nice. That's all it took? Oh my god. Whew. Thank god. Did I... Defeat it? See? No matter how weak you are, things will turn out fine, as long as I'm here. <laughs> he tried to frame me as the culprit. Yeah. Guess that's what Amaterasu Corp is doing. We want to set you up and call it a day. Mm. That's why the peacekeepers barged in as soon as the train hit the station. They probably planned this. Huh. So they knew what was going to happen. Then the culprit works for Amaterasu? I see. Or someone hired by them. Either way, the peacekeepers want to hide who did it. So the reason Control Headquarters didn't respond to the emergency calls was because of Amaterasu. They sabotaged it? Probably. Now that we know what they're aiming for, we're one step closer to the truth. Let's keep this up and unriddle this mystery labyrinth so we can get to the truth. Okay. You're awfully casual about this. <laughs> My life is at stake here. Fair. Yeah, Shinigami is very interesting. That's for I sure. understand now that the mystery labyrinth is the case's mysteries given shape. Yeah. What do you do here, Shinigami? Simply put, I'm the one and only cutie that can directly interact with the mystery labyrinth. <laughs> the progress you've made in the mystery labyrinth and solving those mysteries here? Mm hmm. It's all thanks to me. Okay. How are you able to do this? I don't know what to tell you. I've always been able to do this, so I forgot how. Huh. More importantly, you got drugged and knocked out. You are so pitiful, Master. <laughs> no wonder you're walking around like a toddler. Wow. I thought I was dizzy because I've got this weird ghost thing haunting me. <laughs> huh? Making a pact with me won't make you dizzy. That just reduces your lifespan by a lot. What? You're kidding, right? Oh my god. Anyway, who do you think is the culprit, Master? Do you have any guesses? Uh, if the drinks were drugs in the dining car, the culprit must have been on the train before anyone else. Huh. Oh, so then all you have to do is ask around and figure out what order everyone got on board. Hmm. Oh, wait a minute. You can't, because they're all dead! <laughs> you aren't taking this very seriously, are you? Her reaction. Oh my god. Okay, next area. Let's do this. Okay. What is this? Mm. This place. Whoa. Huh? The path is forked in two. Which way should I go? This fork in the path is this also a materialized stream, so you 
should know which way to go if you solve it. Okay. First, let's clarify what mystery this is exactly. Deal. Uh huh? Uh, how do you do that? Like this. <laughs> oh my lord. Huh? <laughs> what? Yes. A question? That's the mystery standing in your way. You just need to pick the right path and head on through. The six dip. on a train. It must mean the six master detectives, including me, right? If I don't think the culprit is among the six on a the train, then I should take the right path, which says no. It's definitely yes. But if I think the culprit is one of the six on the board, I need to take the left path that says yes. Mm hmm. Hmm. Which is it? It's definitely yes. It's gotta be yes. There's only one truth! Questions relating to the case are asked in different forms inside the mystery labyrinth. Choose the correct answers and take me to the truth. Okay. It's definitely this way. So, you think the culprit is one of the six on the train, right? Yep. Yes. Right here! Did that work? Was I right? Okay, let's go. Oh man. They don't tell us if we're right or not? Lordy. I hope I was right. Can I go through now? Oh, you got it right? Not bad at all, Master. I was right. Oh, this guy again? Okay, let's do this. Ah, something happened. Why? Did I make the wrong choice? It's trying to bury the truth again. Oh. Go get him, Master. Okay, let's do this. Round two. I gotta see what my solution comes are. Reasoning death match. Let's do this. Okay. Okay, let's see. Testimony of two detectives. Apex and Pucci's Fortes prove there were no other passengers. A map of the train. Got it. Deal. Um, let's stick with the testimony. Deduction is wrong! Other than the six on the train. You must have had an accomplice. Okay, do I have the right one? I think I might have got the wrong one. I don't know. Two master detectives used their abilities to prove that only six people were on the train. Exactly. If it was only one person, they could have been lying or an imposter. But two of them means there can be no mistake. Wrong! Your reasoning is completely off! It is? Shoot. Okay. What good does that testimony even do? You're okay, let's see. Victims all burned to death. According to the log, the train did not stop once. Okay. Let's stick with this for now. Accomplice just wasn't there when those two checked! And came aboard after them. So what if the windows don't open? Everyone oh. You secretly stopped the train. Okay, it's this one. Let your partner board. Ooh, I missed. Together, you committed the crime. This way, there's no contradiction. There's no contradiction. Okay. Did I get it? Right. The operation log says the train never stopped, but that doesn't go with the statement, does it? Hey, Master, don't you think the solution keys go with the different statement? Right. Right, I might be able to refute the mystery phantom statement with this solution key. 
What good does that testimony do? Let's try again. Okay, it's this one. I know that. Examine those two checked. Okay. Came aboard after that. Nope. So what if the windows don't open? Well, everyone doubt. Uh huh. You secretly stopped the train and let your partner pull. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. Ragged Petroleum's operation log showed that the train never stopped. Exactly. And the doors won't open unless the train stops. So it's impossible for someone to have gotten on during the trip. Yep. Haha. <laughs> hey, we did it! Whew. Looks like you're getting the hang of this, Master. You've learned to ruthlessly cut down any who stand in your way. Thank you. Make it sound like I'm the bad guy here. <laughs> okay. Hey, I was wondering if the mystery labyrinth is trying to block people from seeking the truth. Uh huh. Wouldn't it reject my answers even if they're right? Or maybe the questions themselves could be lies. Hmm. No chance. The mystery labyrinth has no self will. It can't lie or create things not based on the real world mystery. Okay. This place is a direct manifestation of a mystery. You can always progress as long as you keep solving it. Hmm. In that sense, the labyrinth is fair. It won't cheat you. Nice. I see. That's a relief. By the way. About the culprit being one of the six of you? Uh-huh. How could the culprit commit the crime when all the other passengers besides you were dead? Because Zilch stabbed himself. I'm sure of it. Well, I'm not sure of it, but I suspect. I really suspect Zilch. Okay, let's let's do this. <laughs> Okay, what's this? Another fork in the road. Ooh. This is how we reach the truth. It reflects how problems are really solved, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know if I've ever actually solved a mystery on my own. I don't remember it all. That's actually fair. It doesn't matter. You just need to solve the mystery in front of us. Deal. Here we go. Everyone was dead, so how did the culprit pull off? Commit suicide after the crime. This time, your tr yours truly is gonna help think it through. You just leave all the heavy lifting to your lovely mystery labyrinth guide. Yeah. Really? That'd be a big help. I think it's obvious that it's... Wait, why'd you go this way? Come on. I'm still thinking here. Don't choose yet. Huh? Oh. Uh, er, I guess I'll think about the opposite door. You're still thinking about it? I think it's this one. Oh, I, oh, got, I it. got it! Master, leave this to me. This has to be the right answer. Follow me! You think so? Yeah, wait! I think you're wrong. Oh boy. Dead. No. Because if they did commit suicide after the crime, they'd be dead right now. Huh? And that's no fun at all. That's your reasoning? Wait, what's this chain? Yeah. I told you we share mind and body. The chain is proof of that. Okay. Our relationship can never be broken apart. <laughs> that's terrible. <laughs> Please, you should consider yourself lucky. You're being haunted by a cutie like me. Okay, is she right though? I really thought it was the other one. I'm so tired. I pulled you up here so you can walk the rest of the way yourself. Okay. I didn't ask you to do that. How do we even know if you're right or not? I was so convinced she was wrong. Was she actually right? So you think this path will lead toward the truth, right? No idea. This is a labyrinth. It's pretty common to encounter dead ends. Okay. I think you're wrong, but I, I could be wrong. Whoa, watch out! 
Knew it! You see? What did I tell you? Dead end! Don't sound so proud of yourself! You chose this path, Shinigami! Hmm. If it's a dead end, maybe the culprit wasn't just playing dead. Yeah. I searched all five bodies, and they were, without a doubt, dead. Yep. Oh, so the answer isn't play dead. Let's turn back. Yep. You changed your mind already? Exploring all possibilities is an important part of beating a mystery labyrinth. <laughs> I'm so awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, Yuma. That's my reaction. By the way, I did say I can guide you through the mystery labyrinth. Okay. But I'm not that good at solving mysteries. Ah. You could have said that a little earlier. <laughs> I just want to help. I like when you rely on me, Master. Anyway, what's going on in the real world while we're in the mystery labyrinth? Oh, yeah. Time has stopped on the other side. We're sort of set apart from the normal flow of time while we're here. Okay. In other words, you're still surrounded by peacekeepers. Oh. So if we return without solving the mystery, we'll just be captured. Yep. As a result, this murder case will remain unsolved and linger in people's memories as a serious crime. Naturally, this mystery labyrinth will also survive. Mm -hmm. And that creates an even bigger problem. Okay. Which is? Leaving a case unsolved means that it will go down in history that way. Hmm. The more bizarre a mystery is, the more it attracts people's interest. Mm -hmm. And the more people rack their brains about that mystery, the bigger the mystery labyrinth gets. Oh. Eventually, the mystery labyrinth would gain enough power to start affecting the real world. What? It would implant insidious ideas into people's minds, creating more murderers and, in turn, new mystery labyrinths. Oh my labyrinths God. can create endless cycles. That's why it's best to cut it off as soon as possible. It sounds way more daunting than I thought. Yeah, I didn't know that. Okay, back to the doors. Ah, we're finally back. The other route is commit suicide after the crime. Yep. There's no other option, so it has to be the right answer. Yep. Hmm. Yes, do we need to talk? You should already know the answer. Now get to it. Deal. Okay. Careful. Here we go. Let's Let's go. Suicide after the crime would mean. After killing the other four, the culprit killed himself, right? Exactly. That's Is why I think that it's Zilch. Really the right answer? It's gotta be. The mystery labyrinth's roots represent logical deduction. If there's only one route, then it's the only possibility. Yep. I think the only option left is the culprit off himself. Only he just needs to find that suicidal pest. Yep. Alright, this is a long corridor. Oh, Lordy, what does this mean? Ah! Oh, what's going on here? Oh my god. What the heck? This is part of the mystery materializing. You just need to solve it. Huh? <laughs> okay. Oh, Lordy. Okay. What do we do now? Who was the last person to die during this incident? The culprit. This way. If the culprit committed suicide after the crime, then the last person that died should be the culprit. Exactly. Right, because they wouldn't be able to kill someone else if they off themselves already. Nice work. Thank you. Okay, what's the next question? Let's try again. Who set fire to the dead culprit? What? Of course, the person who started the fires must be the culprit. Yeah. All five burned to death, so the culprit who died last totally burned himself. Exactly. Come on, let's try again. Okay. Why? Who's the last person to be burned to death? 
Okay, deal. Zilch. Hell yeah! Oh, I knew it! Oh, I don't know. Yeah, but at least the peacekeepers, the victims all burned to death, right? Mm -hmm. But when we first found Zilch in car one, he wasn't burnt yet. Mm -hmm. If that's the case, that means he must have burned to death after that. Okay. Although everyone else we found after him had already died from burns. Yeah. Alright. So if they all burned to death, then the last one who died could be Detective Borax. Yeah. I think the culprit killed everyone in the opposite order of how we found their corpses. I see. Five, four, three, two, one. Got Starting it. from car five, he killed them in order one by one, then set himself on fire in car one. Yep. So Detective Borax is without a doubt the culprit. But he committed suicide, huh? The stabbing! Mm. Are we right? Are we wrong? The, the door! We did it! Okay, is it time for another battle? I'm ready. Whoa. It worked? See, I told you it would be fine. I'm such a terrific guide. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Is that the end of it? I guess wow. that's everything. Seems easier than I thought. Me too. Mm, what's wrong, Master? I'm wondering if that's really all that happened. Something about this seems off. Hmm. It does? You think so? <laughs> oh, lordy. <laughs> ah, what's going on? Conclusion, Zilt killed the other four of them. Conclusion? To Is this the truth behind the case? Yep. There's only one door. No other options. Maybe this really is the end. Kind of a simple conclusion despite five people dying. Is it? Is it? Well, Am I... I hope this was a helpful tutorial for you, Master. That's really it? Wait. Mystery labyrinths contain all the mysteries of the real world case, including things like misdirection, right? Mm -hmm. Which means this could be an attempt by the culprit to mislead us. Oh. So, you don't think this is the truth? What makes you say that? I'm not sure, but I have a feeling the case isn't closed yet. Okay. So, then this door could be a fake. Ooh. How can we tell? If you think it's fake, why not try breaking it? It'll be bad news if you're wrong, though. Okay. And I won't tell you exactly what will happen. I don't want to affect your judgment. Okay. You've already affected my judgment. I guess the only way to find out is to destroy it. Let's do How it. How do I do that? Hmm. Uh, I feel like it's true, but he thinks it's not, which makes me think maybe it's not. Conclusion, Zilch killed the other four of them. I'm gonna say open it. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Was I wrong? I was wrong. Uh oh! Master got crushed to death by a Q! You didn't really think the solution would be that easy, did you? Man. If it ended that way, we get complaints about how lame it was. Okay, okay. let's try this again from the front of the door. Take two, action! Okay, fair enough. What's the other option? Demolish the door. So it was fake. It was the culprit trying to throw us off the trail. Oh, I'm confused. Oh lordy. <laughs> you said it just quit while you were ahead. Okay, let's it's do this. It's for a big exit to appear. This mystery labyrinth is way tougher than I thought. Hmm. Master, don't let your guard down. Okay. Make sure you drop your money before you drop dead. I promise I'll show mercy to your wallet. Okay. Let's do this. Oof. Yeah. 
Reasoning Deathmatch. Got it. Here we go. Let's check out the solution key. Okay, math mystery phantom. Sometimes throw out noise. They will obstruct the vision, your vision, and get in the way. So use the master solution blade to cut him down. Got it. The more noise destroyed, the bigger the bonus you get later. So when it pops up in front of you, be abrasive sure and attack. The bonus for destroying noise is based on the max amount you destroy in one cycle. Basically, there's a cap on how much you can get. A to slash noise. Got it. Let's check out the let's check out the solution keys. Okay, knife and corpse. Knife stuck in Zilch's chest. It was deeply embedded and would certainly have caused a fail wound. That's what I thought. Melanie's corpse. Melanie's corpse. Discovered in Cartoon. It was burnt to a crisp for the face. That's definitely a knife in the corpse. Okay. Reason is obvious. Oops. Zilch is the only one who could have done the crime. Okay. You're right. that knife? Does it somehow disprove Zilch's involvement? After killing everybody, he stabbed himself with a knife that sets himself on fire? Really? That's oh, that's right. wrong. <sighs> okay, so I was wrong. Okay, so it's this one. I don't know how, though. I thought it was Zilch. Reason is obvious. Zilch is the only one who could have done the crime! Okay, let's try it again. An accomplice couldn't have boarded the train later, so it just leaves Zilch as a culprit, right? What? That's what I said! No. Was the cause of death really fire? I keep wondering about that. I was right! Are you kidding me? I just didn't slash in time? Is that what happened? Okay, if that's the case, I'm gonna is the only one who could have done the crime. Is this wrong too? Hmm? That's right. The culprit must be Did I wait, hold on. I'm actually confused. Zelch is the only one who could have done the crime! Okay. He burned the four passed out victims! Okay. Then set himself on fire! No. He stabbed himself. And died from immolation! Ah, uh, here we go. This is the truth! That's what we were looking for, I see. I didn't realize there could be wrong ones, wrong statements that misled you. No! Now that I think about it, Zilch's suicide by fire doesn't make sense. That was a- uh, I can't believe that was the technical difficulty. I, uh, I'm so mad. Because when I saw Zilch through the window, there was a knife in his chest. Exactly! He was stabbed to death. If he burned himself, by himself. then why would there be a knife stuck there? Exactly. Ah! Uh, that's a- Little brat. Fine. I'll answer you. Oh my god, I can't believe I was right. Okay, let's do this. Okay. Let's check out the solution keys. Blood stains and interior lock. The infirmary in car 5 was locked from the inside. There was a small amount of blood spattered on the interior lock. Coffee with the knockout drug. Okay, let's do this. Oops. Uh-huh. Yeah, it was to knock himself out. To knock himself out. Stabbed himself so he would pass out easily. I don't think so. Then set himself on fire. You're wrong. Dying by fire is a painful way to go. Okay. He wanted to make it less painful. Okay, that's not. The culprit Ow. has to be Zilch. You're not wrong. Oops. I don't think it's that one either. I don't think it's that one. He committed suicide by self-immolation. Okay. Mm -hmm. So he stabbed himself with a knife because there was no other way to knock himself out. That's true. No, he wouldn't have had to go through all that just to pass out. Oh, the coffee! Ah, uh, now I get it. Oh my God, it's the coffee. Stuck in the body. I see. Of course I know why. Yeah, it was to knock himself out. You're right. 
this mystery. Coffee. His plan was to fall unconscious. He would have used the drugged coffee in the dining car. Yeah. That's a much easier way to pass out. Uh huh. You're right. Man, this is this is actually really tough for me. <laughs> I'm struggling. Oh lordy. I'm struggling. I see. So they're trying to mislead you about the cause of death for Detective Four Eyes. Yep. Right. The peacekeeper said all the detectives burned to death. But Zulch's corpse in the first car is different. Yeah. To me, it looks more like he was stabbed to death. Exactly! So the peacekeeper's report was a lie? But they had no reason to do that. If they wanted to set you up as the culprit, they'd be raising questions by fabricating reports. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right. They all must have died by fire, after all. Oh. And for some reason, only Zilch appeared to have been stabbed to death. I mm -hmm. get it. So that's what was bothering me. But no matter how hard I think about it, I can't seem to figure out what happened next. Mm -hmm. Huh? Why's that? I don't have enough clues about Zilch in the first car. Mm. I should have investigated it more after discovering the body, but I was too preoccupied with calling for help. Shoot. So we're stuck right here. I don't see any other routes to break through this mystery. I don't even know what mystery we gotta solve right now. What? But I do know there can't be a labyrinth without a goal. The truth is always behind a mystery. You okay. wish you had investigated more, right? So, you think you'd have the answer if you'd done that? Huh? Yeah, maybe. Hmm. Oh, fine. My secret weapon is so draining, I try to avoid using it as much as possible. We can go back in time? But I just love it when you rely on me, Master. Okay. I have a bad feeling about this. What are you trying to do? <laughs> what is she trying to do? You, master. <laughs> Ready, master? Oh, Lordy. Wait. <laughs> what? Oh, that's dope. But he did stab himself, right? I'm so confused now. <laughs> What's going on? I'm extracting your memory and materializing it inside the mystery labyrinth. This <laughs> is my super cute special weapon. See, if you investigate here, you might make some new discoveries. Hell yeah. Oh. The shock from all this is making my head spin. <laughs> you don't have any time to waste, Master. This was pumped out of that slow brain of yours, so don't assume it'll stick around for long. Oh. You have until the pain in your head clears up. Now hurry and investigate. Okay. I got it. I'll hurry. Deal. Let's do this. Okay. This blanket is mostly burned, but some parts near the knife are unscathed. Huh? It doesn't look like there's blood on the blanket at all. Huh? But how could that be? A burnt blanket that was placed over the corpse, but there's no blood on it. Oh, so I can get solution keys here, too. Hmm. You may have seen it, but forgotten. That just means you didn't think anything of it at the time. But huh. it is in your memory, so you can use it as a clue. Okay. You can do that? You're incredible, Shinigami. I agree. <laughs> Go on, keep complimenting me. <laughs> okay. Let's keep going. Next to the cushion. Huh? This cushion? Was it always there? I don't even remember it. Also, it looks like it has a hole in the middle of it. Huh. It was made by something sharp. What did this? A cushion found next to the bed. It has a hole in it as if it was punctured by something sharp. Okay. Is that it? Is that all the time we have? Oh, it's fading. I guess the 
pain is starting to go away too. Looks like time's up. Well, did you find anything? Yeah. Yeah, I think I see the contradiction here. Although I'm not completely sold on it. Yeah. Ah, and this is where you're supposed to declare I've solved the mystery. Well, if you think you're on the right track, then I guess we should do this next. Do what? It's for when you're stuck in your deductions. Uh huh. Remember what I said earlier? Every labyrinth has a goal. Oh. So even when you're stuck, there's always a way out. Okay. And we're gonna find it by working together. Working together? Lay it all out, Master! Okay. What? Huh? The beach? <laughs> okay. Shinigami puzzle. Okay. We are gonna expose the truth okay. The Shinigami puzzle is one of my secret techniques to uncover the hidden truth. Move pointer, grab solution key, throw a solution blade, zoom in, zoom out. Okay. What? The truth is hiding somewhere in the letters on the side of the barrel containing yours truly. Ready? Read the question and knock out the letters in the correct Fire! order. Make a mistake and the time limit will be reduced. If you can knock the letters out in the right order, I'll be imbued with the power of truth and unleash a special move that will open up the path. By the way, if you feed me solution keys floating around the barrel, I'll give you whatever hint comes to mind. Grab the key Don't and bring it from that. But there's some, there are some solution keys you can't get hints from. If I eat one of those, the time limit will be reduced. Okay. Detective Zilch's death is actually a, a red herring? Okay. Um... On the sheet, so is he really stabbed? Okay. Um, where's the first letter? Okay, where's E? And then D. Where's D? Nice! Zilch through the window, it appeared as if the knife was stuck in his chest. Yeah. But in actuality, he stabbed the blanket wrapped cushion to make it look like he had been stabbed. What? That's why the blanket didn't have blood on it, even though the cushion was stabbed through. Oh my god. Zilch's death was a red herring. It was meant to mislead us. Oh my god. Okay. Here we're gonna see if we can save. I know we're in the middle, but. Okay, where do we... 1806, 1803... What does that even mean? Um, I don't remember where... Well, let's overwrite this first one. Okay! This is where we're gonna leave off today's episode, folks. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, today we entered the Mystery Labyrinth. We fought quite a few of the same guy with different solution keys. We did a couple other interesting mini-games in the Labyrinth. And I think we're getting close to figuring out the entirety of the case. It really was Zilch, but he burned himself to death? Or he was sta- Ugh, I'm so confused. Um, but I think it's coming together. I'm, it's a little bit over my head, to be honest, but I am enjoying it. I hope you are too. If you are, feel free to leave a like, comment, or subscribe if you like. All that stuff is really appreciated. And yeah, hopefully I see you in the next episode. Bye.